Hello folks, here today to talk about the Byzantine Empire. Uh, if you remember the Byzantine Empire is what came about when the uh, Western Roman Empire fell but the Eastern Roman Empire remained. So we'll start by talking about the rise of the Byzantine Empire. And as I just mentioned, the Eastern Roman Empire had become the Byzantine Empire. Its capital was at Constantinople, which was, recated, which was created by Constantine when Constantine decided he'd move the capital city from a dying Rome to this new beautiful place called Constantinople, of course named after himself. And it became very wealthy from trade. Now, over time, the Byzantines became more Greek. They became less Roman, so the kind of the Roman influence went away because they were much closer to Greece. They also became one of the richest and most advanced empires of the time. Now, probably the most famous emperor of the Byzantine Empire is Emperor Justinian. Justinian controlled the military, he made laws, and he was the supreme judge. He had a very famous wife named Theodora, and she helped him run the empire. And actually, one time in 532, she helped him save the empire and the throne when people started to riot because of the taxes that were being collected and they felt they weren't being used wisely and they were being overtaxed. So um, Justinian wanted to flee. Theodore talked him into Stain and eventually they were able to defeat the rioters. He uh, had this dream of reuniting the Roman Empire, spent a lot of time conquering areas that had been lost, and he also created a new law code where he simplified the law and this became known as the Justinian Code. Now let's talk a little bit about the Byzantine civilization. All right, the empire lasted about 1,000 years and it became a center of trade between Europe and Asia because of its location. In 550, Byzantine travelers actually smuggled a silkworm into uh, the area. They stole it out of China and then uh, they built this huge church that something Justinian's very proud of was the Hagia Sophia. Mosaics were a very important type of art at the time. They're little stones um, put into a uh, like a frame. And then also uh, learning was highly respected in the Byzantine Empire. That's just a little bit about the Byzantine Empire. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in class.